Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. My nigga got a cake, my nigga got weight. My nigga in front of me, he the reason I'm straight. My nigga got a house, my nigga got a lake. Nigga, we eating, my nigga get a plate. My nigga, my my nigga, what? Rest in peace, my nigga, what? My nigga, my nigga. Y'all, I cannot believe that Rich Homie Kwan passed away earlier today. A lot of people have been asking me my opinion on this. And I am definitely devastated. I loved a lot of his music. He had the 2010s in a chokehold. Him and Young Thug. They had so many songs, so many hits. And it's really sad. And the song I was just rapping that popped in my head was YG's My Nigga. And he's on there. And I always love Rich Homie Kwan's verse. Jeezy's verse was hard too, but Rich Homie Kwan's verse was dope. But um, the whole situation is really sad. He was only 34 years old. So as most of you guys know, he had been very honest about his addiction addiction to lean and pills and things like that. But now, man, Fly ain't talking because of the litigation, man. Fly not talking at all. You know what I'm saying? I can't drop no music. My show money down. Um, man, I got a dark cloud over my head, bro. I probably was the person, I would definitely say, I probably was the lowest I was in my life. Because you got to think, man, I went from here to here fast. Was it, was it drugs involved? Oh, hell yeah, man. I was on Molly every day. Oof. Listen, geeked up, fight down. <laughs> Listen, I'm talking, bro, I felt like I, I couldn't do a show or a song without being on Miley. When did that start? When did the habit start? When the habit started, uh, shit. On the road, when I, when I, first, I, when I first got the road, I on the road, the $800 show, I ain't drink no liquor, no lean, no mm -hmm. none of that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shit, after some type, no, nah, before then, before some type of way, we was doing so many shows, I couldn't stay up. Mm. So I knew some people like, bro, I got something to keep you up. That motherfucker kept me up. And, you know. There's a machine mind, after that. If you don't mind, who said That's that? That's where the babies is coming huh? from. <laughs> if you don't mind, who said that to you? Who said they got something for you to keep you up? Was it somebody from the industry or one of your friends? It's a family member. Oh, family. 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 And he had been battling addiction for a while, but today it was announced that he had passed away. Little Boosie said something first, and then later on, his girlfriend, his living girlfriend, um, she basically called 911 because he had been asleep on the couch all morning. She took their son to school, came back, he was still asleep on the couch, and she went to check on him, and there was no heartbeat. So TMZ just released the um, 911 call. I have not heard it yet, so I'm going to listen to it with you all and give my reaction to the 911 call. So I'm going to go ahead and play that right now. Amber Williams, operator 7214. What is the location of your emergency? <laughs> All right, you need police fire or ambulance? I need an ambulance. Tell me exactly what happened. Um, my boyfriend, he's been asleep on the couch um, since this morning. Well, he never came to bed last night. Sleep on the couch. I left him on the couch before, before I took my son to school this morning and put a blanket over him. And now I just checked on him again because he never got up. I don't feel a heartbeat. I don't see him breathing. And you said, hold on, you said on the couch and what happened? I said I put a cover over him because he gets a little cool and he's in the living room. And now I just checked on him because I see he never got up. And I don't see him breathing. I don't feel a heartbeat or anything, and I turned him over. I see he kind of foamed at the mouth. I'm sorry, are you saying he's not breathing? Is that correct? I'm not hearing you. Yes, yes. Okay, ma'am. Um, if there's yes. a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Is there a what? If there's a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Um. Okay, first of all, who just has a defibrillator in their home? If you don't send the emergency services, the ambulance, 
of all questions you're asking, is there a defibrillator in the home? I don't have a defibrillator in my home. And she's saying she doesn't know what that is. I just think that's a silly question. Just send somebody, ma'am, okay? Okay, I'm sending the paramedics to help you now. Stay on the line and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Okay. I need to know about how old um, he is. He's um, 34. Okay, are you right by, by him now? Yes. Okay, please put your phone on speaker so your hands are free to help. Can I add his dad to the call? He's trying to call me back because I called him first before I called you. Okay, so we need to help. We need to help your boyfriend now. Okay, listen carefully. Lay him flat on his back on the floor and remove anything under his head. He is not waking up, quick. Ma'am? Yes. Okay, you, you got to get him to the floor. Lay him flat on his back on the floor and remove anything under his head. Flat on his back on the floor? Yes, ma'am. Help me. We'll drink. He's not here. Yeah, he, he Were not, you able to get him cool. to the floor? Yes, he not. His heart not be like anything. That was heavy. That was so heavy. That was so sad. Um, you could just hear the the pain in her voice, the agony. His heart is not beating. You know, there's no pulse. She knows that there's something wrong. He's clearly dead if his heart is not beating. So this entire situation is really sad. So, of course, a lot of people were sending condolences earlier. A lot of people in the rap world, fans and artists alike, are definitely mourning rich homie Kwan. Um, but then... Somebody decided to try to be an attention whore in this situation, okay? So this is Rich Homie Kwan's girlfriend right here. Beautiful, you know, black woman. Um, she's pregnant with his baby in this picture. And so while everybody's sending her condolences and well wishes, thoughts and prayers, um, the ex mini refrigerator, you know, who got like four BBLs, she decided to use this as an opportunity to attention whore. And it's just ironic because we were talking about Erica Banks yesterday on my live, but she was trending today. And this is why Erica Banks is trending. So as you guys see, Erica Banks is currently trending number one, even over the man who died, Rich Homie Kwan. So let's go into the Erica Banks trending topic. And this is why she's trending. She decided to post this of her and Rich Homie Kwan. I don't want to play any music, but Erica says this. All you wanted was to find happiness again. I always saw it in your face and heard it in your voice, but you had so much left to do. The album, the tour, your birthday. I'm just glad we were able to enjoy such peaceful, memorable moments while you were here, man. Such a sweetheart. Rest in paradise, Quan. Then she proceeded to show private messages and he wrote this confession i've liked you for a minute but who wants to get rejected then i saw you talking to a nigga but in my head you've been mine none of them niggas deserve you <laughs> Alright, so y'all just saw that attention horn ass shit. So a lot of people were really pissed off. They were not pleased with what she was doing. And people were dragging Erica. That's why she's trending number one. Because people are dragging her all over social media for attention seeking antics. And one of those people who drug the hell out of her was none other than Akbar V. I'm not a fan of Akbar, but Akbar definitely clocked Erica's tea. But before we go there and show what Akbar V had to say, we're gonna read what some of the comments on Twitter are saying. So somebody says, Erica Banks, don't piss me off for real. This other person says, Erica Banks is such a fucking bird. Somebody else says, Erica Banks is a bird for that. 
Another person says, Erica Banks is the reason I fight and plan a funeral at the same damn time. Okay. Then this person says, now nah, I wasn't expecting Erica Banks and Rich Homie Quan. Another person says, Erica Banks is hell. Okay. So now let me read to you guys what Akbar V had to say to Erica Banks. So this is Akbar and this is what she had to say. Akbar says, I understand you might be hurt, but baby girl, delete those pictures and videos out of respect for his family, man. You was a secret and not saying what y'all shared was fake, but certain stuff should remain a secret because here comes all the unwanted hate towards you that you didn't even know existed. Think before you do stuff, little one. And Flo Queen, um, I don't know if that is Rich Homie Kwan's uh, girlfriend's IG page, I'm thinking, but... She wrote Quan what the F broken heart emoji four times. And she was adding Erica Banks while doing that. Then Akbar also says this. Every time somebody lose their life, here comes the sneaky links posting pics and videos. That man ain't even in the ground yet. Certain people keep you a secret for a reason. And sometimes you should stay a secret because here comes all the unwanted hate. So again, I may not be the biggest fan of Akbar, but Akbar is 100% right. We see this all the time. Anytime a rapper, you know, passes away and people are sending condolences to the wife and the family, here comes all the side chicks, the sneaky links and everything else. It's really sad because at the end of the day, they're not going to put you in the obituary. You're not getting any of the social security money. You're not getting a check. There's nothing coming to you. So you just did this for attention. You should have just kept your special secret moments to yourself. That should have been something special for you and maybe your close friends who knew about your secret relationship. But why blast that on social media? Knowing that he has a girlfriend that he was with who had to sit there and, you know, call 911 and try to resuscitate him. She's going through it right now. You could hear that in the 911 audio and your first thought is to share to the world that Rich Homie Kwan was a player like most rappers. So I'm definitely not surprised. But the fact that you would do that is such an insult. And this is why I say all the time that there's no such thing as a girl code. People swapping down, you know, female power, girl power. There's no girl code. Because if there was a real girl code, you wouldn't even been messing with them because clearly everybody knew that he had a girlfriend. You know, and maybe their situation was rocky or they were going through it. But either way, a lot of people knew that he was in a public relationship. So for you to be creeping with him and then have the audacity to post all of that after he passed away is not only tacky but attention seeking. And I'm glad that social media is currently dragging her for the filth. Okay. So anyways, those are my thoughts on the passing of Rich Homie Kwan. Rest in peace to him. Again, the whole situation is sad. You have to be careful taking drugs. You know, fentanyl is real out here and fentanyl is taking people out, you know, every day. So um, I just hope he rests in peace and my condolences to his family, to his girlfriend. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Rich Homie Kwan's passing. How do y'all feel about the 911 audio? And last but not least, how do you feel about Erica Banks and her little stunt that she pulled earlier today on Twitter? And how do y'all feel about what Akbar V had to say to her? So I look forward to reading y'all's comments down below. Feel free to share this video. Make sure you guys like the video. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. Like and subscribe.